a note. He said, hey, I have the bonehead story of the year. I'd like to share this. This would make me end it. That's end what he, it? That, yeah, that's what he wrote okay. to me. That means you, you would, this would happen and you would... Probably end my life. Oh, my God. What is he talking is about? Is that what he meant? Yeah, I would assume I this thought, made me end it. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. And I think, I think everybody, that if this happened to you, you would end it. Okay. This I would hear, be it. Here is your bonehead story of the year from Lunchbox. Go ahead. This story comes to us from Los Angeles, California. Back on November 14th, a woman wanted, went into a gas station, bought a lottery ticket, and she matched all numbers for the $26 million jackpot. Only problem is she left the ticket in her jeans went to do a load of laundry, washed the jeans, and destroyed the ticket. And now she can't claim the prize. And all that money is going to go to the education system of California. <laughs> well, that's the worst news ever. We have questions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, my gosh. How did they know it was her? Mm-hmm. She is on video. She went to back to the gas station was like, hey, you got to go find the tape. Like, I purchased it at this gas station. She's a regular at the gas station. They know her as a lottery player. They went and found the tape, and they turned it over to lottery officials, and they said, look, that's great and all, but if you don't have a picture of you holding the front and back side of the ticket, nothing we can do. How ah! did, I, this is just my ignorance with the lottery, ah! but how do they know that she selected those numbers? They can tell what time the ticket was purchased. And, and where? Oh, so they could just... They times. can match everything with the computers. But so they could take the security footage and say 6.42 p.m. And then they can say this ticket was sold at 6.42 p.m. at this place. And, and then, so they could verify that it was her. Well, I would what? think that that's enough to that's prove what that I would it was think. her. But I don't s- think so. I think you need to have the ticket. Really? Otherwise, oh. you, otherwise, why don't you just go in at a time and go, hey, put me up for 6.42. Here are my numbers and walk out with no ticket. And just verify everyone. Oh. I just think with, like, today's technology, like, we Mm got to be better than a piece of paper to prove that you won the lottery. Right. What do you do after you buy your ticket? You hold on to your ticket. You get your ticket and you take it, right? (laughs) But she didn't do (laughs) that. that. You know the rule. (laughs) Well, she did do that. She just left it in her jeans. It stinks. Oh, no, this is is life ending. Guys. (laughs) It's not life ending. Listen, $26 million down the drain. Like you take the cash First sum, it's like nineteen listen, point seven million. Yes, and then oh. after taxes, it's probably okay. Twelve million. Eleven. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Terrible. Yes, some... but yes. I, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. First of all, let's get the facts right. About, about eleven million dollars, <laughs> but I don't think that's worth killing yourself over. Okay, I'm gonna look at the bright side here, and you know how sometimes the lottery ruins people's lives. Not yes. everybody. It just ruined her life. No, no. What I'm saying is, what if this is like some weird way of protecting her? Like the lottery, that much money was gonna ruin her life. You think God. I just put that ticket in her pocket <laughs> and watched you guys, it. Maybe. He's like, we don't need this to happen to her. Maybe. Maybe. She I'm wasn't saying, ready for like, it. what if it's a blessing in disguise? I'm just trying to There find. is nothing. <laughs> oh, there's no blessing about losing $12 million. Could well, in, have you ever seen the lottery ruin my life on? Yeah, those are. Like, to be fair, we did a story that said, hey, we know that there are a lot of stories about the lottery running people's lives. But for the most part, people that win are pretty happy. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. But for what, the most part. I, oh! Just, Oh my gosh! What if? What if this saved her? What if that were you? What would you really do? Uh, Even stop it! Stop. Don't say that! <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> I, I'd probably end it. I, I no, mean, you wouldn't, guys. You're so full of crap. Don't even make light of that. No, I'm not making light of it. I'm being serious. Mm, okay. Like something you dreamed about, and you had the money in your hands. You had the life you've been dreaming about in your hands, and it just went away. And it's a wash. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> ah. Okay, so she's not getting the money. No. Th- for sure they're saying no, well, no chance. Well, they said they'll they'll still investigate, but very unlikely she's going to get the money. Well, wow. there's still a chance. I'm shocked. Ugh. I honestly would think if they have security footage and the timestamp, that's good enough. Can you prove without a doubt it was her face? Like I, no- don't, I don't know. And what if she gave the ticket to someone else because then someone come forward and say, oh, actually, she bought that ticket for me. So I think that's why you have to have the oh, that's true. ticket. Dang. I would oh, say there you go. I'm the one that bought it. That, I, I'm Lunchbox, and that is your bonehead <laughs> story of the year. You shouldn't do it on purpose, though. Boneheads usually do dumb stuff on purpose. Listen. Well, no. <laughs> A bonehead is making an accident, too. That's pretty boneheady. To have your lottery ticket and then do the wash. Ugh. She's probably just played so many times before yeah. and lost that yeah. she's like, oh, there's my lottery ticket. I, she probably doesn't pay attention. Now you guys got me all down in the dumps. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Bobby Bones show. Hey.